if this if this law does come about, Alfredo, it could be really quite exciting. Hi, good afternoon. My name's uh, Alex Bradford. I'm an English list and Spanish lawyer. I've worked in Spain since basically since 2003, acting for international clients, buying, selling, and inheriting property in Spain, and generally doing business in Spain and across the islands. They, the Mylor in Spain team have offices throughout Spain. Our head office is in, Mar in Marbella. Recent weeks, I've been reading about incoming laws to do with the digital nomad visa to Spain. So I just wonder whether you could shed any light into, A, is this actually a thing or is it just people wishful thinking? And if it is a thing, what is it? Okay, so so yeah, it, it is happening. We've got a draft law which was published on the 6th of July of this year, and that is basically legislation to encourage and to support startup companies. This law is going to create tax benefits for those startup companies, so long as they haven't... Um, they're not quoted on the stock exchange in Spain or they haven't distributed any dividends. And also there'll, there'll be a package of measures to help the foreign workers come. At the moment, if you're a European national and you come to Spain and spend, intend to spend more than 90 days in Spain, you have to apply for residency. If you're a non-European, you, you can only spend 90 days in 180 days in Spain and you can't generally work without a work visa. And the process to attain a work visa is quite uh, cumbersome because you have to apply to your Spanish consulate in the UK for that. So if this, if this law does come about, Alfredo, it could be really quite exciting because it would make, it should make things much easier for digital nomads to come and work in Spain. So, you know, all you need is a computer and, and Wi-Fi in some, in, in some areas of business to be able to work. And, and, you know, it sounds very promising from what I've understood from what you said that it would not only offer some tax incentives as well as uh, perhaps allow longer periods of time entry to work in Spain, but it would also speed up the process of being able to do that without too much red tape. Yeah. I understood that correctly. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And so that, that this is obviously a national initiative and we don't know how long it will take for the law to come through. Uh, but, but they basically it's, it's a, a, a draft, initiative then we'll see the draft law then that has to be approved but equally as you know spain's got 17 autonomous regions and each region has their own government and andalusia has already started talking about introducing measures to reduce red tape and bureaucracy so that that would be very welcome indeed because as you know it takes if you wanted to incorporate a company now you said to me, Alex, can you incorporate a company? I'd say yes, but I'd have to order the company name. That would take two or three days. We'd then go along to the notary, sign the deed of incorporation of a company, the notary, and then that could take two to three weeks to register at company's house. And then you have to apply for a definitive tax number. That process could take four weeks. You go to the UK, we can incorporate a company within 24, 48 hours. Okay. It's particularly more, useful for those who are actually working for a company that's based in the UK, yeah. but they want to, they want to do that work from over here. Yeah. So yeah, is, at the, yeah. At the moment we're acting for clients, uh, who have got companies in the UK, they want to send, uh, staff out to Spain and they've got to apply for visas from the Spanish consulate in the UK to do that. It, it's just, you know, and these, some pretty. of these are big, these are big, big companies used to be able to send their employees out. Um, without without any bureaucracy. So you're right. I mean, obviously Brexit has, has not helped the British companies with, with offices here because of that reason. But principle applies to non-Europeans. Non-European companies, uh, would if they wanted to send staff here to work, they've got to go through rigmarole as well of um, obtaining visas and notifying the labour authorities here that they've arrived. Okay, so to summarise then, there is some legislation in the pipeline specifically dealing with startups, foreign talent, digital nomads, that kind of thing. Million dollar question. When could we expect to see something actually in place? I'd, I'd say we'd be lucky if we see it in a year. Okay. Okay. So don't, don't, don't pack your bags just yet. No, don't, don't pack your bags just yet. No. Thank you very much. It's been very helpful. Okay. Thank you.